But uh, let's just um, take a break from the profile of Jordan Thompson and uh, let's just have a look. This uh, During this profile it was reported that there's eight Australian men playing in round one of the US Open this week, which is a fantastic result for uh, Australian tennis. So let's just quickly run through those before we go back to this profile of Jordan Thompson. Now he's ranked 50 in the world at the moment, uh, 51 if you're looking at his uh, ATP tour profile, which I threw in the chat there for those of you that are interested. Uh, he's playing in the first round, he's playing Bottic van der uh, Zanschlup, uh, who's ranked 55, he's from the Netherlands. Jason Kubler, the Australian men's doubles champion of 2023, he's ranked inside the top 100 at 86. He's having a good year. Um, he's no slouch with a tennis racket. And I'll tell you what, after all those injuries that plagued him and prevented him uh, from um, establishing himself after just absolutely ripping up the, uh, the junior boys side of things, it's taken him some time to get over his uh, knee injuries. And have a look at this, 86 in the world, and he's playing um, uh, Matteo Analdi, uh, ranked 62, the Italian. And here he is, classy Tanasi, Tanasi Kokonakis. And speaking of injuries, this guy has gone through the ringer over the last five to six years to the point that he nearly gave up. He was seriously considering um, uh, giving up his uh, professional tennis tour, uh, tennis career because he just wasn't getting a, a, br a break. Well, I'll tell you what, he got a break. Um, his ankle, his uh, shoulder gave out, his elbow gave out, he was having trouble with his knees, just everything, one after the other. But the mentality of this guy to come back, he won the, uh, his first Australian tour title, uh, Adelaide, in 2021, I think it was, or was it 2022? No, he was the defending champion from 2021. And he, uh, although he didn't win, defend that title too well, uh, you will remember that with box office Nick Kyrgios, Classy Tanasi Kokonakis became the Australian men's doubles champion with Nick Kyrgios in 2022. And um, uh, they defeated uh, Max Purcell and Matt Ebden from memory in that final. What an achievement. So there he is, ranked 77th in the world. And he's uh, playing the, uh, the player Zhu, ranked 237, who's got through qualifying from Chinese Taipei. Uh, for those of us who are local to Southeast Asia, that's also known as Taiwan. Uh, Alexander Vukic, great uh, effort from him to get to 51 in the world, but uh, he has had a bit of bad luck with his draw. He's up against uh, Alexander Zverev, uh, who's ranked 12, the German. Max Purcell, another Australian, uh, another men's doubles champion. He won uh, Wimbledon last, uh, this year. Was it this year? Last year, with, um, uh, with Matt Ebden. Uh, and he's up against the other Australian in the top 100, Christopher O'Connell. Uh, ranked at 68, who I know is a big favourite. Uh, Alex, um, uh, not Alex, Christopher O'Connell, a favourite of uh, Carolyn B, uh, one of our very dedicated uh, audience members. And great to see Alex Demonor um, just struggling to get into that top 10. He really has to um, come up with the goods over, uh, well, now basically, to uh, if he's going to make the best of uh, what is a great career already, but just um, on the cusp of the top 10, ranked 13th, Demonor. He's up against uh, the player from Kazakhstan, coming through the qualifiers, ranked at 128 in the world, is Timofey, Timofey uh, Skartov. Rinki Hijikata getting through qualifying, uh, ranked 111 in the world. He is, um, yeah, he's pretty handy with a racket as a singles player, as well as the doubles, having won the men's doubles um, uh, title this year at Melbourne Park with Jason Kubler. But he has got a Russian on his hands, uh, uh, Pavel Kotov, uh, ranked 97 in the world. And the final men's uh, player in the top 100 starting tomorrow, uh, local Melbourne time is Alexi Popperin, uh, ranked 40 in the world at the moment, and he's playing uh, Dominic Stricker, who uh, came through qualifying, uh, ranked 127 in the world, and he hails from Switzerland. So we are crossing our fingers and hoping for all the best from uh, for these Australian men. Uh, and it's great to see um, uh, players like uh, Alexander Vukic and Alexi Popperin. Um, uh, 
you know, getting some traction in their tennis career because we've followed them uh, through the wild card uh, as wildcard entrants into uh, Australian Open qualifying uh, over the last couple of years and of course um, uh, this year uh, some of them getting um, direct entry into the first round of the Australian Open as wildcards or just uh, um, uh, direct entries and uh, Max Purcell, it's fantastic to see him getting traction in his singles career he's always been a very handy doubles player and he's also a very straight shooter uh, which is a typical trait for any Australian, not just the men. So um, that's um, that's the review of the Australian men as they go into this year's uh, US Open 2023. So uh, let's take a quick break and then we'll come back and finish off this profile of the very, very well credentialed, but uh, a little bit, a lot underrated, uh, Australia's Jordan Thompson. So don't go away, uh, we'll be right back after this. We tell stories and our story is tennis. G'day, welcome back to this Australian Open Live, uh, produced by Wise Words Media, live in Melbourne, Australia. And uh, this morning, uh, we've decided to uh, jump into our Spotlight series and uh, a little bit of player watch. It is Jordan Thompson we're profiling this morning, the Australian player who recently celebrated his uh, 100th career win as a tour professional. He's been uh, on the professional circuit um, since 2016, uh, over the last uh, 10 years, establishing himself. He is a very well credentialed, high performing uh, elite tennis player. And this is why at Australian Open Life, we love bringing you details about players such as this, not because he's Australian, come on. Um, he just happens to be Australian and uh, we like bringing our audience uh, information about these sort of players. We will uh, finish up this segment of the Spotlight series on our uh, player watch of uh, Jordan Thompson. Uh, this fantastic insight into his career, having achieved 100 wins on the men's professional tour uh, recently during this year and uh, we will continue that profile so don't go away we'll be right back we tell stories and our story is tennis g'day welcome back to this australian open live coming to you live from melbourne australia home of the australian open <laughs> i nearly said australian grand prix but we are we actually are the home of the Australian Grand Prix, but that's not what we're focusing on today, no. It is the Spotlight Series, and uh, we are bringing you uh, our, our, um, our, our segment, uh, a special player profile on Australia's Jordan Thompson. It is the Player Watch, and we're celebrating Jordan Thompson uh, recently achieving 100 wins as a professional on the ATP uh, men's tour in professional uh, tennis. That is a fantastic achievement and uh, well done Jordan. Uh, absolutely uh, thrilled to see that stat. And so once we saw that published in the public domain yesterday in uh, the, uh, the Age here in Melbourne, Australia, well we just, we just had to bring that to you because that's what we specialise in at uh, this Australian Open Life. We want to bring you uh, uh, sort of a, di a, a, a different type of uh, content about uh, tennis players, uh, something that's more unique, more innovative than that that you might see on the mainstream coverage for the Australian Open or even any Grand Slam. And this year we've branched out to cover Grand Slams all across the world, bringing you uh, this live coverage of uh, all qualifying days for the Grand Slams. And uh, we managed to achieve that with the US Open and, and Wimbledon and uh, the first two days of the Grand Slam tournaments. Why? Why? Because that's where the best uh, stories are across um, uh, uh, across the Grand Slams. When you've got, um, uh, we, we, we're gonna be bringing you the match results and, and the match play and the scores and the tears and the tantrums, the injury timeouts, full coverage. Uh, full coverage of a full set of live matches. So join the conversation while we bring you radio style, audio only uh, commentary uh, during the first round as it happens over the first two days for the men's 
and the women's tours. Uh, you can't ask for better than that. And the only thing that we ask is that you join the conversation. And to join the conversation, we'd love it if you could subscribe uh, to this platform with us and um, give us some feedback and even start a conversation. You only have to be a subscriber for a grand total of 60 seconds. And we really appreciate all the feedback we get from our audience all around the globe because um, uh, we're not just local or general, we're global. So uh, before we continue on with, uh, with Jordan Thompson, let's do a little bit of this. Uh, let's let's do why is that, why is that doing? let's have a look at the sights sounds summer of tennis at Melbourne Park and just a little preview uh, for those of you that didn't join us uh, during the qualifying days um, uh, as we uh, checked out what was going on um, uh, during qualifying as uh, the players tried to win three matches in a row to earn them a uh, first round spot at the US Open. But uh, let's have, just enjoy the sight, sound, summer of tennis at Melbourne Park. And a little preview of some of the uh, the type of uh, content we can bring you in the left hand side of that frame. You'll see um, the live score from one of the matches we covered uh, last week. So um, let's get straight back into it by doing a bit of this. So whenever you hear that stinger, uh, we're just switching it up again. So let's continue and finish this profile of, uh, oh no, we've got a bit to go yet, so maybe we'll take a second. Uh, 